Hey guys, welcome back to the Barndo Channel. This is Charlie Downs with 1845 Barn Dominiums. On this week's episode of the Barndo Channel, we're outside of Gladewater, Texas to bring you a first look at one of our new layouts, a three bedroom, two bath layout that we've modeled after the Wrangler. This is uh, 2,626 square foot total with a 750 uh, square foot garage attached. If we show you the outside of the house, you can see across the front, we're gonna have some wainscoting here. Our exterior sheet colors are gonna be light gray or ash gray. We've got an interior fireplace, but we've got the stone also on the exterior there on our front porch to match the wainscoting across the front. Our walls are that light gray, our roof and our trim are gonna be burnished slate for this particular layout. And then our windows you'll see are gonna be white on the outside and inside. Our soffit sheets will be that light ash gray color uh, to match the exterior walls. Again, this one's modeled after our, our Wrangler. We just kind of changed the roof structure a little bit in the overall outside exterior look uh, of the barn dough to fit what the homeowner needed. We finished up wood framing on the interior. We've got our electricians, our plumbers, and our HVAC guys in doing some work now, getting us ready to spray foam this particular house. So we're gonna give you a first look of what's going on inside. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please go ahead and do that now. We would love to have questions or comments from you guys in the comment area below, but don't forget to ring that bell. Each time we post content here on the Barndo channel, you can get notified and keep up to date with what's going on with 1845 Barn Dominiums. If you're interested in floor plans, maybe a turnkey quote, a shell quote, or even a kit purchase to be shipped to wherever your project's gonna be going up. We would love to help you with that. You can visit our website, 1845barndominiums.com, and one of our sales team members would be happy to talk to you about how to get the process started of making your dream home a reality, however that's possible with 1845 Barn Dominiums. So we're gonna head inside and show you guys a first look at this layout. We're gonna show you the wood framing, getting ready for spray foam. All right guys, so we're gonna step in from the front porch out here give you a kind of a good look of the wainscoting that we're going to have across the front. You can see where we've got the Tyvek wrapped uh, right there all the way across the front. We've got that prep for stone that will come in at a little bit later date. And that stone is going to match our interior and exterior stone that goes along with the fireplace. That fireplace will go on up through the porch area there and through the roof. And then we're going to enter in through the front door just off to the side of the living area. So I'm standing here at the front door, I'm just gonna kind of give you guys a panoramic view of the layout. We've got master bedroom there on the left side with our master bath closet and our laundry room. We've got big open about 21 foot across here and I believe we're about 47 foot deep back there to the kitchen. You can see we've got an exit to the back porch and then we're gonna have our kitchen sink there underneath that uh, window that's centered in the wall there. On the other side of the layout, we're gonna have, starting in the back corner back there, you can see our pocket door for a pantry back there by the exit. Then we're gonna have bedroom two and three on this side with a bathroom in the middle. And then our HVAC room is also there, uh, kind of in the center of the layout. So we're just gonna take you around and show you uh, kind of how this layout is unfolding. Bedroom two up here in the front. These rooms, bedrooms two and three, are 14 by 14. So these are big rooms. They are not small at all. Uh, big open space. Got two windows in this particular room right off the front. And you can see our wood framing. In our wood framing here, our electricians have been in today pulling their wire, hanging some boxes. And then we're also gonna see some of these uh, backer boards. We've talked about this in other videos of the bracing uh, that you, the homeowner goes around and tells us, hey, I, I want to mount a TV here. I need extra backing on this, on this wall. And you'll see some of those as we go through the layout. Our wood framers and our builder have come in and done some of those. You can see right there, we've got a backer right there. And then we've got another one for a box that's going to be right here. And so this is going to be bathroom number two. We will have double sink vanities right here. On the other side is our mechanical closet. We'll have our AC unit in there, and you can see we've got our drainage in that corner as well. Just in case we ever do have any issues with that unit, we've got some drainage out of the house. It will not flood the area. We've got our toilet space there with a shower with pony wall. We do not have a tub here. This is shower only. You can see the center drain there. We'll have a little pony wall with glass going up to the ceiling there. And then you can see directly in front of me there, that, that is our tankless water heater that is 
recessed into the wall here in bathroom number two. And so as we come out, we're gonna go into what I'm calling bedroom number three. Again, 14 by 14. We do only have one window here because we only have one exterior wall. Same size, we've got our closet in the corner here, little step-in closet area. And then 14 by 14, same size as the other bedroom. These are mirror images of each other. And then if I come around outside of bedroom number two, we're getting over into the kitchen area. I'll come back and kind of show you the layout of that. We've got our exit to our back porch, and then we've got a really nice size pantry right here. We're gonna have a pocket door. I'm gonna back up so you can see that framework there. We'll have a pocket door framed in there and then a step-in pantry. We'll have shelving all the way around for a lot of storage space. Now, I'm gonna walk back here. I'm gonna show you the living room first. So I'm gonna stand in the center and you can see we've got vaulted ceiling here and you can see the direction of the vault going across the living room. So we'll have fireplace here, stone fireplace. We've already got our insert there. And then if I spin around, I'm going to show you and kind of give you an idea of the kitchen layout. So I'm in what would be considered the dining area in between right now. And so we're going to have an island right here where you see the wiring coming up, stubbed up right there. And then we're going to have our kitchen sink, our dishwasher, and a lot of counter space there on that back wall. If I come over here by the pantry, we're going to have refrigerator on this right side over here. And then if I come over to the left side, I believe we're gonna have our gas oven range combo right there. And, and I, I may be incorrect in that. This, this may be a gas cooktop with wall ovens. I'll have to go back. We'll see when this all starts coming together. And then I believe we're gonna have a little coffee bar area, wet bar area here on the side, on the left side here in the kitchen. But it's all gonna tie in really nice. Again, this is modeled after uh, we, we built the Wrangler a little over a year ago, I believe. And we came in, customers said, hey, we love that Wrangler layout. We wanna to try to uh, get that layout as much as we can with just a few modifications. So we're gonna walk over into the master. We've got lots of windows here. So we've got four windows on those exterior walls. And you can see our electricians and plumbers have been at work in here. We've got our exterior hose bib prepped for outside there. We've got our boxes, our plugs, and that's one of the things we've talked about in other videos. Our, our homeowners tell us uh, the electrical layout that, they are, that they're wanting to achieve. So we go over that and we sit down and go over those details with them when we're designing the floor plan. We'll have double sink vanity here. And then you can see our toilet room just off the sink vanities there. I'm gonna give you a little look there. So we've got our toilet room tucked in the corner there. And then here, if I backtrack just a little bit, we're gonna have a freestanding soaker tub right here. And then we will have walk-in shower right there, another pony wall. And I believe we're gonna do glass up as high as the homeowner wants to go there. We may go all the way up, may go up to eight foot. They will get to determine that and custom fit that. So I believe we'll have a tile shower there. And then we may have some tile around behind that tub. We'll see what they do there. And we go, and you can see, we see this a lot. I'm standing in the bathroom. We've got a full walkthrough into the laundry room over there. So we're gonna step into the closet. We've got a pocket door that leads us into a big walk-in closet for the master. We'll come in later and design that as far as where our upper hanging and lower hanging will be, where our cubbies will be. And you can see directly behind that, we don't have this wall sheeted up yet, uh, but we'll have our garage entry there and as we step over into the laundry room, kind of a mud room, we've got one cool feature that's gonna be in here. Now I'm gonna go in and show you the office that's back off the back right here that's added to the layout, but we're gonna have a stackable washer and dryer here as you come in from the garage. We're gonna have a utility sink right here. And then we have a dog wash station that's gonna go in right here. And that's designed by the homeowner as far as the size, height of the pony wall that we want there. So we will have a uh, dog wash station there. 
coming in from the garage, but we can also easily access that. If you see, if we come right around the corner here, we've got another access point to the back porch. So we can either come in from this door off the back porch and go in to the laundry mud and dog wash station and then off of the laundry room and just inside off the back porch. This is an office space that we've built in here. I'll kind of give you a little panoram here. So this is a little, I think this is a 12 by 10 room that we've got in the layout here that the homeowner, this is just one of the modifications that homeowner wanted to make was, hey, I'd like to have a home office. So we put this back off the kitchen uh, laundry area, but you have a direct access from the master to be able to get over into that office space. Now we do have an enclosed garage that is attached. This garage has three inch vinyl insulation that you can see there. So we've already got that completed. We'll have a single overhead door as our access point for our vehicles. We've got some windows here to make everything match aesthetically with the front of the house. And then this wall right here is actually the exterior wall of the home. So we will have that. We'll put OSB board uh, up there on the side facing us right now. And then we will spray foam to that and then we will discuss with the homeowner whether they want to uh, paint that OSB, if they'd like to put liner panels, or what they would like to do on that particular wall. And that's something that we want to go over with the homeowner to make sure that we're not surprised by anything or we're just, we just always try to make sure that we're on the same page with our homeowner once we start construction. In our back porch, we've got access here it's a lean-to back porch, 10 foot deep. We're gonna have soffits under there that'll be, I believe they're gonna be that light or ash gray color, but a really good space, usable space back here. We could do outdoor patio kitchen if we wanted to. A lot of options that we've got out here, but again, just a direct link into the kitchen area. So I'm gonna spin us around and head back out the front door. That's gonna wrap up our tour today. This one is modeled after the Wrangler. We don't have a name for this one yet. Uh, we're gonna let our homeowner try to decide what they wanna name this one, but it is modeled after the Wrangler. Uh, layout is pretty close to the same. We did add a home office to it and just changed up the roof line and the exterior just a little bit. Beautiful view off the front porch. And that's gonna wrap up our episode this week on the Barndo Channel. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap up this week's episode of the Barndo Channel. Again, we're outside of Big Sandy or Gladewater, Texas, showing you a three bedroom, two bath layout that is modeled after our Wrangler floor plan. This is gonna be a beautiful build. You can see as we go through there, you can see that we're gonna have a stone fireplace on the interior, and we're also gonna have that stone to match on the outside on the front porch area. We will have some wainscoting across the front to match and bring all of that fireplace and everything together. We've got big open rooms here, 14 by 14 on bedrooms two and three, and then 16 by 15 on the master side. So just a lot of open space that's gonna be in this layout. We're gonna come back in a couple of weeks and show you guys how the spray foam's turned out. Once we finish up with the electrical plumbing and HVAC here in the walls, we'll have this thing cleaned up and ready to spray foam, and we'll show you guys that on another episode. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please go ahead and do that now. We would love to have questions and comments in the comment area below, and don't forget to ring that bell so that you can get notifications. When we come back and show you the spray foam of this one, you can get notified if you ring that bell and keep up with all of our content here on the Barndo channel. If you are interested in looking at this floor plan or any other that we offer, maybe it's a turnkey quote, a shell quote, or even a kit purchase that you're interested in, you can go to our website, 1845barndominiums.com. Uh, give us a little bit of information about your project, and one of our sales team members would be happy to show you how to get the process started of making your dream home a reality with 1845 Barnuminiums. Hope you guys enjoyed this week's episode. We'll see you guys again next time.